Welcome to the Ralph E. Johnson Jr. YouTube channel. If you like informative, entertaining, and thought-provoking videos, please subscribe to my channel. I definitely appreciate it. Now, today's topic is an extremely serious and controversial topic. It is a topic that we have been debating about for years, and that is, should civilians have the legal and constitutional right to possess automatic and semi-automatic, what people call military assault style rifles. Some of these rifles, you can even attach grenade launchers on them. Now, a lot of people feel that these are battlefield weapons. They belong on the battlefield and not in the general public of America. This is a serious topic that we have to talk about. Okay, let's face it. Americans are obsessed with firearms, whether it's the six shooters of the Old West or one of America's most favorite pastime joys, the AR-15 semi-automatic style rifle. We not only love our weapons to go hunting, to take the children to the firing range on weekends, to shoot the targets for recreation. We love our weapons to compete in competitive sports. And understandably, we love our firearms to protect ourselves from criminals. The Second Amendment to the Constitution gives us the liberty to bear arms. It was ratified by Congress in 1791 and upheld by the Supreme Court in 2008. We definitely have the right to bear arms. That being said, criminals are obsessed with firearms as well so that they can carry out their diabolical crimes and settle their underworld vendettas. This means law enforcement officers need the best that money can buy when it comes to firearms to combat criminals who are hell-bent on breaking the law and harming people. It seems like everybody in America needs a firearm of some sort. There is a created demand Therefore, the business community comes to the rescue with the supply. Whether we like it or not, firearms are big business in America. Primarily in the inner cities, we have the illegal gun crisis. People are getting shot and killed at catastrophic rates. This is what you call supply and demand. We also have nationally the ghost gun crisis. This is when you can purchase a weapon online. Now, the gun, the weapon, it comes to you unassembled, but you can assemble it. It does not have any serial number, so it cannot be traced. We have these ghost guns running rampant in America. Then you have the straw purchasing of weapons. This is when you have a citizen who is able to purchase a weapon purchases a weapon for a citizen, for whatever reason, cannot purchase the weapon. And this is what you call straw purchasing. You have a lot of these transactions going on. America, we have a problem. This brings us to one of the biggest debates of them all concerning firearms in America. Should citizens have the constitutional legal rights to possess automatic and semi-automatic, what people refer to as military assault style rifles. Now you can, contrary to popular belief, own an automatic weapon here in America. The weapon just has to be manufactured in America by May 19th, 1986, or it has to be imported to America by May 19th, 1986, and you can legally own it. Might cost you a few bucks, but you can own it. But let's just say you only had a semi-automatic weapon. With all of the conversion devices out there, like the bump, fire stop, fire rapidly, similar to an automatic rifle. With all the different laws, people have ways to circumvent the law, people have ways to go around the law, and the bottom line, we have these automatic 
and semi-automatic weapons that's in the hands of citizens. And a lot of people feel that this is terribly wrong. They believe that these automatic or semi-automatic rifles that shoot at least 60 high velocity bullets per minute, which travels faster than sound, plus they create an explosive effect in the human body upon impact. Many Americans believe that these weapons belong on the battlefield, not on the streets, suburbs, or countrysides of America. Plus you can add grenade launchers to a lot of these rifles and a lot of these rifles can hold as much as 100 bullets in a magazine. I know that many Americans who own automatic and semi-automatic rifles are extremely reliable, safe, well-trained, and mentally stable. But it's hard to believe that all Americans who have access to these rifles have the same attributes. I know that rifles do not kill people, people kill people. But if you took away people's capability to kill over a hundred people in minutes, maybe we would not have as many mass shootings as we have per year. This is the debate. I would like to thank everyone for tuning in to this serious thought provoking video. My condolences go out to all of you who have lost loved ones to the senseless epidemic of firearm violence in America. May your loved ones rest in peace. God bless.